Hello, welcome to Board Deck and Dice. Today I'm joined by Little Board Deck and Dice. That is the most hideous mask you've ever worn. It's not wearing a mask. Awkward. Anyway, what are we looking at today? Um, oh that red and green card game. <laughs> red and green card game. This is a game called uh, Animal Ailments and it's currently on Kickstarter. We just, we're not going to do a top down view because we don't really need to, do we? Yeah. So in this cool. game you have two sets of cards, uh, rule book and a timer that goes for a minute. So do you want to tell minute. people what, yeah a minute, do you want to tell people what green cards are? Uh, is it, no don't tell me, don't tell me, the animal. Yes. So baby baby, baby. that's impossible. A poodle. How would you do a poodle? So these have all different types of animals on them, wild cards, zebras, bears, do, have we had a dragon? We've yes, had a T-Rex, haven't we? We've had a dragon as well, I think. There's some, I think. Some, I think there might be some mythical no, we've had a dragon. oyster. <laughs> oyster. You. Gorilla me. Woolly mammoth. So there's all kinds of animals. Uh, but you don't just take one of these. You also take a red card, but which there's... are the ailments. So... Stay here, stay here. Because otherwise the microphone can't pick you up. You're going to just have to tell people. Okay. So there's... Uh... <laughs> do you know what that one says? <laughs> Can you read it? Um, it says man boobs. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Does so it, you'd it have says, so there's um pl uh, plus twelve is plus harder 12 ones. Plus twelve is harder ones. But so you pick man, these two. How would you do man boobs? You'd have to, yeah, pr you'd pretty have much to, like that. So this. how would you do a poodle with I man boobs? I don't know. The poodle's okay. pretty hard. Mm -hmm. All right, do a, do a panda with man boobs. <laughs> uh, how would you do a panda? Black eye. Ow. <laughs> And then, what you were doing. You once got me a card from a Father's Day saying, Mr. Moobs, didn't you? Yeah, with a yeah. big riddle on it. So, if you play the game properly, you take a, two cards, one red, one green. Uh, you have a minute to try and get everyone to guess them. And if any, anyone guesses them, you get the green card, which is worth more points. <laughs> and the other person gets the red card, which is worth least points. Vain. You're vain. I'm not vain, you're vain. Whatever vain means. What's that say? Gaming you? addict. You're a gaming addict. Vain means you like to look in the mirror a lot. TV, TV addict, that's you as well. Yeah, TV. <laughs> so oh, snap. you can do it first to 15, it. and there's extra rules. If you go for a harder clue, if you don't, you only do one set per minute. So you can, there's harder clues underneath, which you can steal cards from other people with um, if you get them to guess them. Can you get my seat down, please? Yeah, that's a bit weird though because. I like the man boobs one. No, I can't get your seat down, just come here. Jump up on it. Highly professional video as always. Oh, you're so sweaty! We've just been for a bike ride. We just went to the end of the drive and back and that was enough for us, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but the w So there is a proper rules version of this, which works fine, but the way we like to play it is we usually play it after dinner uh, when we've got guests and we just we just go round, don't we? Because it's quite funny to go around and some of the like yeah. we've never even seen man boobs till now. Know. I I actually my probably my favourite ever one that I've ever 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 seen is two um that man boobs one and then food poisoning because yeah food poisoning is quite funny. I did this one. So if that isn't reason to kickstart this game right now, go and back it, then uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is. So the gameplay is essentially charades. It's it's a version of charades. And, uh, you Where's know, when we get games like this sent to us, the kind, of, we, the kind of easy thing to think is, oh, same old, same old. But actually, it's not. with family, we found it a lot of fun. Like is it is charades just basically not hard ones like man boobs? Charades could be films, books, um, people, that oh, sort yeah, of thing. Oh yeah, I've played charades before. But this At one's Christmas. funny because it... Because there's like man boobs, uh, food poisoning. Yeah, or oh, TV addict, or yeah. um, different kind of illnesses. Doesn't like the war fear of water. That's I don't even know if that one's in there, but that sort of thing. There's, so no, that that was fear of birds. Oh, there was fear of birds, um, wasn't there? Um, <laughs> Because you um, thought it was feared of bird poo. Yeah. So, um, what do you think the about the game? Um, I'll probably think that it's probably the the best game ever. <laughs> the best, better than Quirk? Um, you know, that's really hard to decide. 
because I really, really, really like work. Yeah. But then I really, really like this game because it's funny to do it, and because there's a uh, new ones like. Uh, there's more uh, different there's things like to do in this, isn't there? There's more random in this. Yeah. Um, and this yeah. one, you can do this one two player because we we don't tend to play it with the rules. We just pick up cards and act them out for fun, don't we? Yeah. And I think that's the most fun this game is. Obviously, you can play it with certain groups of adults as well. I wouldn't play it with my proper gaming group, but as an icebreaker, um, I would play it. And um, on a night, you know, when you're having a few glasses of wine, I would play it. So. Um, well, it is what it is, but it works surprisingly well. How did you get, you How did you get the reds out? Thanks. Um, and it works surprisingly well, doesn't it? And we like it, and we'll be no, play it. We play it most meal times before before you go to bed, don't we? No, this is unfit. That's me. I could just <laughs> I could just do this. Wait, what's this? Homesick. Homesick. Okay. Uh, poison it. Poisoned. Yeah. Poisoned. Knocked out. Which you're going to be if you make this video go on much longer. Right. So, do we think people should back this on Kickstarter? Um, if they've got a family? Uh, no. Definitely. Kidding, yes. <laughs> definitely, definitely if you've got a family. Definitely, if you want definitely. a charades game, yes, you could write your own, but here you've got a massive set road rage, like Mummy does. You've got like you do, you call people clowns. I don't, you clown. Uh, you've got a massive set of connections. There's bonus cards in there. You don't even have, have to play with them. We, we put them in sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's just a fun little game. Well worth backing. Is this... Um, Beer belly. I was going to say that. Um, right, we're going to say goodbye now because um, you just dropped all the cards. Yep. Well, thanks very much for watching. And sorry we're horrible, and sweaty, sweaty body monsters. Yeah. Gorilla sweat bags. And we'll see you next time on... Board deck and dice once I've cleared up all yes, these cards. Yes, you do have to clear up. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Am I in the shop properly? Yes, you are. Because you beautiful face. Oh, you're sweaty. I am really sweaty. Sweaty bear.